Look, what if I told you there was something you were missing? What if I told you that Jesus doesn't really fit into your description? What if I told you that follower of Christ doesn't automatically mean Christian and just because you believe in faith doesn't mean Jesus didn't believe in submission and conviction? Listen, you say Jesus was God and that God had descended. We say Jesus was man for Jesus was dependent. Our God is all great and cannot be comprehended. You say that God was murdered or do you believe that he pretended? See, God gave us brains and God gave us logic, but I guess God wanted us to use them in everything else except for this topic. It's like wearing a cross and proclaiming that you love Jesus, when if God was murdered on the cross, the cross really shouldn't please us. I mean, would you be wearing an axe if it was used to chop your mother up into pieces? See, this is what happens when you believe in faith, but fail to believe in reason. See, we used to worship the Creator, until Satan turned us to the creation. We began to worship the people and neglect the one who made them. We began to believe that God had died, but how could a God even be created? A miraculous birth and therefore the Son of God was begotten. See, the creation of Jesus was easy, but you seem to have forgotten. That God says be, and it is, just like with Adam, a concept too complex for the church to merely fathom. But he was the creator of the universe for all we know even more. And so what if we can't see him? I mean, what you acting like our universe is small? I mean, there's still so much we're still yet to explore. I mean, there's still so many things as human beings we still haven't seen, touched, heard, or saw. I mean, our eyes can't even handle the sight of the sun. So how can we possibly handle the sight of our Lord? See, Jesus used to pray. But in your opinion, who'd he pray to? I mean, if Jesus was God, surely prayer would be of no use. Or did he only require it when he needed to know the truth? Like when God wasn't sure whether it was the season of the fruit. Or maybe he prayed when there was something he couldn't do. Like when he said, I of myself can do nothing. But you took it as there's nothing he couldn't do. See, no one used to worship Jesus. So ask yourself, why do you? A concept so straightforward, but has left so many confused. See, Jesus preached one God, but the church has failed to practice. And I mean, you don't have to be that dumb to know that one plus one plus one equaling one isn't necessarily going to give you a pass in mathematics. See, the church said three, when Jesus said one. Jesus said God, when the church said son. Jesus never said worship me, rather he said pray. But you've chosen to worship Jesus despite everything he used to say. You began to think with your emotion and forgot to think with your mind. I guess you didn't pay attention when Jesus says our father yet never says mine. You claim to be a follower of Christ yet you still choose to eat swine and you call yourselves Christians but in your churches you're busy drinking wine. And just to clarify, I do love Jesus. Matter of fact, I love him more than you. Because when Jesus said do something, I actually do. However, I'm not connected with the church nor with the Bible. See, I love Jesus as my prophet but refuse to worship him as an idol. Just like he wanted and proclaimed it as sin. So it doesn't really matter if they don't let him in because Jesus wouldn't even want to be in the presence of people worshipping an idol of him. An act of God, bolt of lightning went straight through the outstretched hand of Jesus. This cannot be a coincidence. Before I move on, there's something I need to mention. The worshipping of Jesus, Jesus is a man-made invention. He never asks for your worship so he can grant you protection. Rather, he asks you to alternate your prayers towards another direction. To God and God only and pray that he accepts them. And know that just because you love Jesus doesn't mean he feels the same way about your affection. See, what you believe in is exactly what he resented. Matter of fact, it's everything he despised. See, the worship and creation goes against the very message he supplied. So you began to follow a religion and called it love in disguise because love can be good, but love can be blind. Giant Jesus is no more.